everyone, it's Julia. For this week's project, I'm bringing out my jelly plate again, and I'm adding a background to a piece of fabric. I want to do a sunshine applique on, I think I did, I ended up doing four different projects this week with the same applique. And so I have my, my, app, my acrylic paints and yellows and oranges and just using up what I have on hand using a brayer to spread that out on my jelly my jelly plate. I'm using the 12 inch by 14 inch jelly plate for this. I like the larger one when I'm doing this, when I'm adding these um, backgrounds to fabrics. And again, just randomly doing a background design using this multi-purpose cloth. And this is the lightweight multi-purpose cloth. Everything that I have that I know of, I'll, I'll list down below for my supplies. Some of these stencils I get at Tuesday morning and they're no longer available. I do like to pick those big, large 12 by 12 inch stencils up when I can. Um, here's another one. This is the circle one. And again, just adding another layer to my, my multi-purpose cloth. I removed that jelly plate now and I'm just adding some more um, color through the stencil. This is the archival ink that I'm using. And this is the pebble stencil. This is a, a newer stencil of mine that I really love for backgrounds. Just using a blending tool from Tim Holtz to get that color through those stencils. Now just actually adding a, some stamping. And this is just a circle, another little swirl background stamp. These archival inks are wonderful because they are waterproof. And so here I'm adding them through another stencil. This is the Art Is stencil, and, and I, I just like words. You can't really read it, but you can tell that they're words um, on the background. I have some acrylic paint now on the uh, end of my paintbrush, and I'm just flicking that onto the back just to have a little bit more of a contrast. You can't really see this, but I have a, it's a sponge stamp in a swirl. My design is, on, is completely dry now, and I flipped it over, and I'm stamping on the back side, and then we'll be fussy cutting these out. And this is what they look like. Now on to just cutting, cutting strips with the rest, two inch strips with the rest of this. I love doing these backgrounds on fabric, especially if I'm just doing a simple applique. It really adds a paint look or just a more of an artistic look to any, any design. And measuring out, because I want these triangles to be somewhat even. And I'm cutting all four strips at once here. I have an old box lid and I'm spraying this heat and bond basting spray on the back side of my appliques. This will not gum up your sewing machine at all and it will, you know, adhere the design to a, to your project. This is a market bag tote that I'm doing. It a, has a really long handle on it and it, it just hangs right at your hip. Using both a ba basting thread and a multi-purpose um, Thread and I just put my design on with with them um, free motion. I didn't show that, but it's just the same as some of my other projects. And I'll link some of my free motion projects up in the i cards for you. I have my design on contact paper, and I'm just and it's just using it as a stencil. This contact paper, and and I used um, my silhouette cameo to get this design onto this contact paper. And now getting rid of my inside of my letters using a little weeding tool. Here's pictures of all four of the projects that I made this week with the same design, the same fabric. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a creative week. Bye for now.